Hello, 45 Level Charlie Papa, and today I'm going to do kind of a uh, mail call and a channel update and kind of a description video of the channel and who I am and for any of those who out there who are, are interested. Uh, mail call is, today we've got uh, a couple things here. Um, we got a new safety for my Bulgarian Makarov. I was telling you in that last video I was having some light strike issues with this. Um, and I think some of that has to do with the fact this this safety's got a little bit of a little bit of wiggle room and play in there. I think that uh, is uh, interfering with the hammer striking the firing pin. Um, the firing pin channel needs to be cleaned out too, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get this safety replaced. Um, yeah, I'm sitting at 270 subscribers right now, and I appreciate everybody who has subscribed. Um, all those people who have uh, written comments, good or bad, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I really enjoy the comments. I do read them all. I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Um, it may just be a thumbs up sometimes. Sometimes there's really not much uh, to you can reply to them. But, uh, you know, I do uh, appreciate the comments. I do uh, appreciate uh, people, you know, good or bad, um, contacting me and me being able to have a conversation online with with some of these people and answering questions that people might have. Um, first thing we got in the mail this week was we did out the replacement safety for this uh, Bulgarian Makarov. This is actually an East German Makarov, but because this is a true Makarov, all the Makarov parts will fit. So let's go ahead and get this changed out real quick. Um, the channel, channel started out as a father-son project. Um, you can notice that if you've seen some of my earlier videos, uh, they're fairly raw. And, uh, you know, it started out as a father-son project, something I could do with my son. Um, he's kind of not as interested in it as I was. Um, he was real interested to begin with. Uh, and it's just kind of morphed into more of a hobby channel. Now, one thing you got to know about me, I work two different jobs. Um, I'm working 60 hours a week plus doing a YouTube channel. So I don't have a whole lot of spare time. You can see the old one here. It's got some, some wear and stuff on it. So, you know, I do this in my spare time. I do it on the weekends. And, uh, you know, this weekend I've been kind of sick. So I thought I'd just do a, a quick video today um, showing the, you know, showing the mail call. Kind of give you an idea of what's going on with the channel. Um, again, I thank everybody who subscribed. Um, I really, I really do appreciate it. And if, these are pretty easy to change out. We'll get the firing pin channel cleaned here later, a little later. But I wanted to go ahead and get get this in. There we go. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot tighter. Um, there's no really very little to no play in that. So I think that's going to solve my issue with the light strikes. Um, that seemed to be where it was hanging up. It's a lot, it's a lot stiffer. Um, that, that feels a lot more positive than it did before. Um, we'll eventually get the, the slide lock, or I may try to uh, repair, repair that slide lock so it engages a little better with the slide. i I got to look at it a little closer, but uh, that project's done. Um, we've got the interrupter here for the Mosin Nagant. The um, Mosin Nagant sporter that I did that uh, when I put the 10-round magazine in it, found out that it had a worn out and bad interrupter. So we've got a new interrupter. Well, we went ahead and put the uh, the new interrupter in here. Um, as you can see, the uh, the old one is broke. Um, snapped the piece off there. Um, it was kind of sprung. It wasn't uh, wasn't quite right. I was trying to adjust it. Uh, that didn't work out very well. Um, this piece was also a little worn. So we got our, our new pieces in there. Uh, we've got our Heartland 10 round magazine in there that I was having that was showing the uh, the problems with the the interrupter in this gun. So. Uh, Got 10 rounds, uh, dummy rounds, as you can see here, there's a hole in, hole in these. So these are all dummy rounds that I've made up. I do not have any live ammunition here. Um, you know, as for subscribers, you know, I really appreciate uh, you subscribing. Um, like I said, this has been a hobby channel, but let's, uh, let's test this out for function and, and make sure that everything's working properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So everything uh, functioned fine. Uh, this week we also got in a holster. Um, this is the Czechoslovakian 
uh, pistol Makarov. Uh, their version of, of the same gun, you can see kind of the same size, but a lot different, uh, works a little different. But I really like the, the idea of this holster. Um, this is the military holster, and it is ambidextrous. This gun will fit in this way, and it will fit in this way. And all your spare magazines just go in the pocket on the other side of the barrel. Um, I also like it. it. It's a flap holster. It closes up. Um, carry that around. I mean, you can open carry with this or, you know, carry with a holster. And I don't think people would really realize that you've got a firearm on you. Um, I thought about putting like a red cross on this, make it look like a medical medical bag of some sort. Maybe there's some medical equipment in there um, just to kind of throw people off. And they wouldn't even know that uh, there, were, there was a pistol in that in that holster. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it would, online uh, on eBay, uh, I think I picked it up for like $7.50 shipped. So that, that was a great buy. But anyway, I wanted to thank everybody um, for the, ch on the channel. Um, everybody who watches, everybody, all the future subscribers, everybody who makes comments. I really do appreciate it. Um, it, it really gives me inspiration to, to continue. Uh, if you've got comments, good or bad, you know, put them on there. Let me know. Um, you know if I'm not doing something... If I'm doing something wrong or I'm not doing something, hey, you know, let please let me know. It's it's all an education process, and uh, you know you can probably uh, you know, educate people, try to get them to to learn some new uh, new things uh, regarding the firearm industry. Now, if you've also looked at my channel, you know the early videos are kind of rough, kind of raw. I've improved my uh, um, equipment a little bit since then, um, but the uh, one thing you need to also know. Um, I don't make any money at this. All of this uh, stuff here, this all comes out of my own pocket. Um, I do have advertisements in my videos. I did you know, monetize the ads, but the YouTube income is very, very minuscule. Um, and I do have, uh, have it monetized. I do have an account there, uh, but it hasn't grown or, or been enough there for me to pull I need that money out. I want there to be a decent amount of money in there before I pull it out. So just know, you know, this is all being taken out of my pocket. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Um, these are just uh, regular guy reviews, uh, regular guy thoughts in in research on how many of these items. But this is 45 Elva Charlie Papa. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next week with some more content. I hope I feel much better. And as and my grandpa used to tell me, if you're not making any mistakes, you're not trying anything new. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.